You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. According to a CNN.com article by Henry Schuster, Butler's Aryan Nation's successor, August Greaves, has offered to form an alliance with Al-Qaeda. The motive behind the offer is based on common enemies shared by the two extremist groups the United States government and the Jews. Christian identity adherents might view involvement with extremist Muslims of Middle Eastern origins as contrary to their core beliefs. Greece dismisses the viewing of Al-Qaeda members as mud people as being old school racism. He provided the following reassurance to Al-Qaeda should they become interested in forming an alliance, the cells are out here and they are already in place. They might not be cells of Islamic people, but they are here and they are ready to fight. 30 Finis, a priest mentioned in the Old Testament, has inspired the use of violence in the name of God by a very secretive group of right-wing activists who are Christian identity followers. According to Hoffman, punishing such violators of divine edicts as homosexuals, interracial married couples, and abortionists is the mission of the Finese priests. Ending the federal banking system is another divine duty accepted by the Finese priests. 31 With the decline of the Aryan nations, the Finese priests have become more prevalent. Finese priests are not believed to be an organized group, rather, they appear to be a collection of several individual right-wing extremists who have committed violent crimes in the name of God. 32 In an August 4, 2005 posting on the Aryan Nations website, Pastor J. Foster described two entities that form the Aryan Nations organization. First is the Aryan Nations proper, which accepts people who may not be religious, but are still attracted to the group because of their views and systems. The second entity is the biblical wing of the organization, known as the Tabernacles of the Finese Priesthood. 33. Will the Tabernacles of the Finese Priesthood actually commit acts of violence in the name of God, as their name implies? The Christian identity beliefs of its members make potential terrorist acts a constant possibility. Christian identity offers devotees explanations for their present deficiencies and reassuring interpretations of the past. The past is described as glorious prior to the theft of their God-given birthright by the evil Jews. As for the future, Christian identity provides assurances of happiness and global supremacy. Survival in the future is accomplished by the grace of God, through the use of Christian identity followers' input and alternatively through the availability of stockpiled food and weaponry. 34 Militias The militia movement has evolved during the past three decades redefining its purposes, ideology, and appeal to future members. Consistent themes include a distrust of the federal government and a belief that citizens will be disarmed by the government. The attraction of the militia movement to prospective members has varied as militias adapt their ideology to address emerging issues. Militias are part of the informal patriot movement that, according to Matthew Zook, emerged from the challenges created by the civil rights and feminist movements of the 1960s and 1970s to the dominant social and economic systems for regulating race and gender relations. 35. Chip Burlington Militia Nation expands this view of militias when he suggests that militias are a social byproduct of economic hardship and the partial erosion of traditional structures of white P.A. Weisinger. R-I-G-H-D-W-I-N-G-G-R-O-U-P-C-H-A-R-A-C-D-U-R-I-S-T-I-C-U-R-I-D-E-S-S-A-I-R-S. G-O-L-I-I-N-O. To G-U-L-E-2006-H-T-T-P-Colon slash slash www dot sobs dot org mail at heterosexual primitive dot org mail at heterosexual privilege. He mentions to stress is assumed that militias are associated with the dominant social and economic systems for regulating race and gender relations. He mentions to stress is associated with the right-wing populist revolt for which militia members are concerned. First is the stress of the genuine economic suffering that resulted from global restructuring, the second type of stress stemmed from outrage regarding the societal gains achieved by oppressed groups in the United States. 36 According to a study of threats and reactive mobilizations by Van Dyck and Sule, the increase in the organization of patriot and militia groups is related to economic downturns. These economic hard times resulted in the loss of agricultural and manufacturing jobs. 
37. The loss of land and the heritage of many farmers and ranchers resulted in what rural councillor Glenn Wallace referred to in his congressional committee testimony as community depression. The symptoms of the community depression observed by Wallace are similar to an individual with chronic long-term depression. 38. One of the escape mechanisms for the chronic stress experienced by farmers exhibiting manifestations of depression or psychosis is an outward projection of anger. These individuals want to make those whom they hold responsible feel the pain of the farmers. In the rural crisis of the 1980s, these outward expressions of anger resulted in the murders of bankers and federal lending agents. 39. Wallace acknowledged the violent reaction to the economic crisis in rural America when he stated, You can't treat human beings in a society the way rural people have been treated without them organizing and fighting back. Involvement in the anti-government right-wing groups became another means for rural Americans to outwardly fight back. 40. Societal gains by historically oppressed groups, the second area of stress mentioned by B. Ray, result in the displeasure expressed by many in the patriot movement with regard to unjust advantages extended to minorities and women, specifically young whites. Affirmative action programs have become a contentious subject of discourse. Conspiracy theories fueled the anger generated by the societal and economic issues. One tenet of conspiracy theories, mentioned by B. Ray, is the description of two types of people, parasites and producers. Parasites are viewed by the conspiracy theorist as being at the top and bottom levels of society. The top level contains the corrupt governmental officials and wealthy manipulators of the banks and currency. At the bottom are the aimless, slacker, parasites who sponge off the hard-working middle class by accepting public assistance. In the middle are the producers, a reflection of the person who typically embraces conspiracy theories. A belief that those at the bottom are mostly blacks and Hispanics injects a racial element into these theories, though in reality welfare and other government relief programs are mostly utilized by whites. 41. Mark Pitcaffage in Camouflage and Conspiracy, the militia movement from Ruby Ridge to Y2K, attributes the rise of participation in militia groups to a variety of incidents that occurred during the 1990s. Included in these events were the passage of the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, the Brady Bill, the assault rifle ban, the riots in the Los Angeles area after the Rodney King verdict, the presidential election of Bill Clinton, the 1992 Ruby Ridge shootout, and the 1993 Branch Davidian standoff in Waco, Texas. 42 According to the 1999 congressional testimony of former FBI Director Louis Free, most of you never want a serious crisis to go to waste you never want a serious crisis to go to waste 